Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! This video is another most awaited topic of all. It is how I remove my body hair in Canada. I will be covering three methods. Disclaimer, I do not wax. I hate waxing. So if you're somebody who loves waxing and wants to stick to waxing, this video is not for you. But if you're somebody who is in waxing but wants to find out another cost-effective alternative, then this video is for you. By the way, these three methods are super cost-effective, might need initial investment, but trust me, it will be worth it. Also in this video, I will be showing you how I remove my hair. If you're somebody who doesn't like to see body hair uh, <laughs> so this video is also not for you but it's pretty natural everybody has body hair so yeah even I have body hair but we're gonna talk about how to remove that body hair pretty effectively so the portion of this video is sponsored by Caesar so guys, they have sent me this 3-in-1 document scanner device. It can scan a document, it can take 4K videos, it can take 4K pictures, and it can also be served as a web camera. If you are a student, this is something that comes really handy. When I used to study at a university, I never used to print any document. I hardly used to buy any books. I just used to scan all the books and then use the soft copy. And this scanner is so easy to use. You can just easily adjust the mount like this, and use it as a web camera. But for this video, I have taken high resolution 4K shots of my arms and my legs so that I can show you how to remove body hair. I could not use my camera because it was so difficult to adjust, but this was so easy and it could capture the tiniest hair. Also, you can use this camera if you love cooking and you want to make cooking videos. This document scanner can take many close-up shots. You can easily record videos of up to 60 frames per second with this this document scanner. It has an inbuilt 8 megapixel camera which can scan the sharpest and the highest resolution document images. It can easily scan any document instantly and then sync it to your PC or MacBook. The design is so sleek and makes it super easy to adjust the angles. In this video, you will be seeing some clips that I've taken from this camera. It came so handy to take some shots, which I was not able to take it from my professional lens. I will leave the link of this camera in the video description so you can check it out. Now let's start with today's video. So guys, I will be talking about these three methods and I will be giving you the pros and cons of each method. You can decide on these pros and cons, which method is better for you, for your skin type, for your body hair. As you know, every body is different. So let's talk about the first method. That is razors. I love using razors on my body hair. So I'm gonna give you a backstory about waxing as well, okay? When I was in India, I used to get waxing done, but not a lot, but still initially, because I used to see like all the girls used to get waxing and they all said, oh, razors, you get very coarse hair and it won't be as fine as compared to waxing. Uh, which makes sense but for waxing to work you have to grow your hair longer so that next time you wax it can be taken out easily you have to give like two three weeks in between to get your waxing done again and i never used to like it it used to hurt me a lot and my skin is sensitive i used to get red bumps right after the waxing so i only got waxing done i think uh, maybe six seven times in my whole life that's about it never got waxing done after that so I've been using razors for my arms and my legs but for underarms it's the other case pretty much this has been my go-to to remove the body hair now some of you might think that razors will bring the coarse hair and it will only give you short-term results I do agree with that but when you compare your waxed hair when it's fully grown with the razor coarse hair it's pretty much the same. Also, you don't have to wait. So this is the razor that I use. It's from Gillette Venus. Instead of changing the razor after every four to six weeks, I use this reusable razor. You can just change the razor cap of this one. Let me show you how to do that. Just push this clip back and the razor head will come up. Now I will get this new razor from the Venus. Take the same razor handle and clip the new razor cap. There you go, all new fresh razor. You can use any razor, but this one is one of my favorite razor. It is super easy to use. I don't have to buy a new razor every six weeks. Alrighty, I'm gonna adjust my camera and show you how I shave my body hair. 
as you can see i have very less growth on my arms i get this much hair growth after one week of shave you can never get rid of these tiny hair with waxing so yes ladies i don't wait for my body hair to grow longer than this as i shave every week or every two weeks So let me show you how I remove these tiny body hair with my razor. I'm gonna take my razor and this body wash. One pump would do for my arm. Now I'm gonna apply this soap on my arm and lather it very nicely. Try to use the razor in the diagonal direction of your hair growth. I try to use it in this stroke only. Trust me, after every shave, your skin feels so smooth. Now this is one of the method how I remove my body hair. I will be sharing the other two methods in the upcoming video. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe. I'm just gently removing all my tiny hair with this razor. Be very careful with the areas where you have your bone or anything like here. I just cut myself a little bit on the side. So be very gentle. After doing one section, make sure you wash your razor like in a cup or container and then rinse it through the water. I have some peach fuzz on my hand, so I use the razor to remove that as well. Check this out. The skin is so smooth after the shave. Check out the before and after. I had few tiny hair before, now there's nothing. Watch this video till the end where I will be sharing the pros and cons of using the razor. With my same Caesar camera, I will show you how I remove my hair from my leg as well. As you can see, I have little more growth on my leg than my arm. And this is also the hair growth that I get after one week of a shave. I will be using the razor on one leg and the other method on the other one. So stay tuned. Guys, the Caesar camera was super handy to record this entire process. If you are an upcoming content creator, definitely check out this camera. All right, so here you can see I'm using the same diagonal technique and shaving all the hair from my one leg. As I said before, be very gentle while you're shaving your leg. You can already see my leg is looking so smooth. Alrighty, so here is the before and after. I have shaved my one leg and on the other leg, I will be using the other method that I will be discussing in my upcoming video. So ladies, this method is also not a perfect one. So I will be discussing more about that in this video. Now let's talk about the pros of using a razor. Obviously the first would be convenience. It's so easy and quick to shave your legs or arms. You can do it in the comfort of your own home and you don't need any special skills to use a razor to shave your legs or arms. The next thing would be it's pain free. It doesn't hurt. It's so easy. Waxing would always give me bumps and my skin would be irritated. It would be red after waxing. So this one never does. Next thing would be it's super affordable. My favorite one is this Gillette Venus razor. So this reusable razor with a pack of 12 razors head cost me $55 and this would last me the entire year. My per month cost for using this one razor is only four and a half dollars. That's about it. So it's very cost effective. So I shave every week or every two weeks or sometimes even three weeks because I don't get a lot of hair growth. The reason I will tell you later as well in this video. So watch this video till the end to know why my hair growth is so slow. Yeah, I will also be sharing the waxing cost in Canada so you can compare from the methods that I use versus the waxing cost. So yeah, every six to eight weeks, I would change the header. If you use your razor every other day, then I would say change the razor head after every four weeks. Okay, another benefit for using a razor is there is no regrowth waiting period. You can use razor whenever you see a hair growth. You can just shave your leg off, shave wherever you see the growth and you're done. You don't have to wait until the hair is properly grown so that you can wax it out. So you can shave as often as you prefer. But there are some cons of using this razor as well. So I will be discussing that 
that too. Now the biggest con of using a razor obviously is it's a short term solution. You have to keep on shaving depending on your hair growth as shaving doesn't remove the hair from its root. It will only remove it from the surface. So you have to keep on using after every few days when you see the hair growth. For me, it's very convenient. I only shave once a week or even twice a week. So it's way better than waxing as I don't see long hair at all. If I see tiny hair coming out, I would shave it. Another problem of uh, using a razor is there are risk of getting cuts. Yes, even for me, I've been using razors for almost 15 years now and I still get cuts if I'm not conscious or if you use improper technique, then also you can get cuts or so. I always get it like on my elbow, sometimes wrist, wherever I have my bone coming out. And these cuts could be painful and takes time to heal. So that's a problem with razor. But with practice and when you're super careful, you can avoid such risk. Now the next thing is razor sometimes can be irritable. So if you do not use the proper shaving technique, then it can lead to skin irritation for sure. And if you're not properly following the aftercare method as well. So you're supposed to change the razor heads. You're not supposed to use the razor for a really long time. Change your razor or change the razor head after every four to six weeks for sure if you're using the razor every day then i think it should be changed after two weeks so that's the thing that's how you can avoid the skin irritation for sure i have never experienced any skin irritation by using the razor so it's pretty good the next con is coarser hair yes with razors obviously you're not removing the hair from your roots it's just removing your hair from the surface it will give you coarser regrowth as the hair is not gone completely right so you will feel that oh it's a little coarser but to be honest I don't mind at all because once I see those coarser hair just the tiny ones I will not wait I will just shave it off again so razor wins for me there as well next con is ingrown hair razor can increase ingrown hair if you have very thick hair very coarse hair and you have curly hair as well. You can get ingrown hair with razors. For me, I do not see a lot of ingrown hair, so it doesn't bother me. Plus, also I want to say that this is not the only method that I've been using to remove my body hair. So I use the other method as well, and this is one of the method that I really prefer. So I don't experience ingrown hair, probably because I don't stick to just razors. I use multiple methods, which I will be discussing. Next thing is, it could be time consuming, because if you have larger areas it will take time you know you just have to keep on doing it but I'm so used to it it doesn't bother me there as well I'm pretty okay with that I think that's about it that's all the cons are for me I've been sticking with the razor method for so many years and trust me once you get used to it you will not go get the waxing done because I think it's a waste of time and waste of money as well big time so all in all razors super convenient pain free super affordable with with few limitations, few drawbacks of regrowth very fast and you have to keep on doing every week. But again, I prefer razor for sure if I compare it with waxing. It took me a lot of time to shoot this video. I know so many of you have been requesting me to make this video and I was telling you guys that I'm in the process of shooting the video because I usually don't grow my hair too long and I don't wait. So it was really difficult for me to shoot the entire process. All right, so now let's move on to the second method. This is also one of my favorite method. It has pros and cons as well, but this is also something that is really effective if you experience uh, fast hair growth and you don't want to see your body hair you know, if you shave it off and it comes after two days, you don't want to see that. This is something that you might love it. Thank you so much for all your patience and for waiting for this video. But if you're new to my channel, I would request you to please check out the other content that I've already made on this channel. I have put a lot of efforts. All you need to do is hit on the subscribe button. It would really motivate me to make more such content because, because content creation is something that I do part time and it takes lots of time and efforts to shoot such video. So for my motivation, I would really request you to subscribe my channel and hit on the like button on this video if you like this video and comment down below what other videos would you like to see on my channel. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. You can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram page is right here and I make daily vlogs with my husband on my other channel. You can also follow that channel. The channel name is right here. Fianchu and Kirith. Bye now. Love you all. Stay healthy. Stay safe.